Maggie is there with you when you are sad. Maggie is there with you when you are happy. So, in order to honor her, I decided to ask ChatGPT to give me three unique Maggie recipes to try in this video. back to my channel so for today's video i have decided to combine two of my video ideas one i wanted to do a chat gpt controlling my day inspired by advika singh she did a really nice video on it and i wanted to do the same but a few days ago i asked a lot of you on the community tab what kind of videos do you want to watch and a lot of you said food related or food challenge videos so i decided to combine both of these into one and today we are going to be trying out three unique maggie recipes this number became 2 from 3 because I lost all my footage that I recorded for the third recipe. That are not given by YouTube or by Instagram but by our beloved ChatGPT. So instead of just using it for college assignments and projects, I'm going to be using it to do my first favorite thing that is to make Maggie and eat it. Um, and I hope that I follow these ChatGPT recipes and do not ruin a full packet of Maggie. So fingers crossed and if they turn out good, you guys can also try it and let me know in the comments how they turned out for you. So without any further ado, let's get started. The first recipe that we are trying out by ChatGPT is Maggie Pizza. This is not a unique recipe. It has been surfing on the internet from quite, quite a long time. But um, I decided why not try it. I have not tried it. Uh, I'm not skeptical a lot about this recipe because basically it has Maggie and cheese and both of these together taste great. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave all the recipes in the description box below and also tell you about the ingredient list while we make it and how we are going to be making it and then we are going to be testing it. So let's get going. The first recipe is Maggie pizza and we are going to start making it by making Maggie noodles normally. I'm using one packet of Maggie noodles so add water, masala and the noodles to your pan and let them cook. Meanwhile we are going to chop our veggies. I only had onion and capsicum on my hand but you can use any other veggies like bell peppers, corns, carrot beans or whatever you like. You can even add broccoli, chicken or paneer. And then you're going to take a greased baking tray and you're going to transfer the Maggie, prepared Maggie, on top of the baking tray. And we are going to be shaping it in a round shape just like a pizza base. And then spread on some pizza sauce. Um, you, If you don't have this, you can, you know, replace it with any spread that you like. But we are technically king, making pizza. So now add on your veggies, uh, in my case capsicum and onion. And then I'm going to add cheese. Now I you know teared apart a cheese slice but make sure that you use grated cheese because the results will be much better preheat your oven at 200 degrees celsius and bake it until it is crispy and cheese is melted okay so maggie pizza is ready it doesn't look as appetizing as i thought it would because first of all i think the base didn't turn crispy as chat gpt stated and secondly i think i would have you know if i would have added grated cheese and more cheese it would have been better but since i added cheese slice and bits of it it didn't melt a lot and cover the whole pizza uh, but regardless let's try it so this is how it looks like and as i said it's not as crispy as it should be for me to pick up a slice and eat like a pizza so i will have to use my fork and sort of cut it and eat it so basically what i'm trying to say is it does it hasn't you know formed into a pizza base it's not shape it's very soft so it's basically just like maggie noodles but a bit shaped so let's try this let me just have one more bite and i'll tell you how it actually tastes to be honest things i don't like about this is Maggie ka taste itna nahi aara, which I wanted to be prominent. Second, the veggies, if you saute them first and then add them, it will be better because the veggies are quite very, very raw. And third, overall, it's an okay -ish thing. If you want to try it for fun, you can, but it's not something that I would eat again. So, yeah, I'm going to rate it a 5 or let's just say a 6 out of 10. I took an absolutely befaduka nap, but we are back. 
सो द सेकेंड रेसिपी दैट वी आर ट्राइंग आउट इज मैगी कटलेट आई रिमेंबर माई मॉम टेलिंग मी दैट दे यूज टू मेक दीज मैगी कटलेट्स और नूडल कटलेट्स वेन लाइक बैक वेन शी वॉज होम वेन शी वॉज नॉट मैरिड एंड देन शी सेट कि मैं तुम्हें बना के खिलाऊंगी बट वो दिन कभी नहीं आया सो वी गॉन मेक आर ओन मैगी कटलेट्स यूजिंग चैट जी पी टीज रेसिपी लेट्स गेट इन टू इट और इस आलू डालने वाली वीडियो के बाद आई लॉस्ट ऑल माय फुटेज बट बेसिकली इट वाज अ मैगी कटलेट रेसिपी विद मैगी एडेड टू नॉर्मल पोटैटो कटलेट्स बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली नो कटलेट्स फॉर यू द थर्ड रेसिपी दैट चैट जीपीटी गेव मी वाज ऑफ स्टर फ्राइड मैगी नूडल्स सो टू स्टार्ट मेकिंग इट वी आर गोन हीट अप अ पैन एंड एड इन योर कुकिंग ऑयल वन टू टू टेबल स्पून एड इन सम फाइनली चॉप्ड गार्लिक एंड देन सॉटेड अंडल इट टर्न स्लाइटली गोल्डन एंड एरोमेटिक Add in your sliced onions, uh, जिसके साथ एक slice of capsicum भी चले गया है but we're going to ignore that. And then you're going to add in your sliced veggies. I again used uh, capsicum and carrots. You can add any vegetables of your choice. Cook them and then add some salt to taste. Red chili powder. Actually, black pepper was required, but I didn't have that. Now I'm going to mix it nicely. And then we're going to add in the Maggi taste maker. We are only using one packet here. Mix it really well, and then we are going to add in our sauces. So some chili sauce you may use red or green, um, some soy sauce, and then some tomato ketchup. Trust me, this is going to taste good with all the other sauces. Mix it really well, and then we are going to normally add in our pre-boiled Maggi noodles. So I just cooked it with the required amount of water, and I'm adding it in and toss it in nicely. And this is how your stir-fried noodles will turn out to be. I'm telling you, it is getting very hot in Delhi, and I'm going to start complaining about it from today. So make sure you are ready. Ha! Ah, Good me. Okay, but anyways, our third and the final recipe is ready. I'm just going to uh, show you, and this is how it looks like. It looks exactly like the color is like chow mein and stir-fried uh, noodles. I have never tried something like this before, so I am excited. And let's take a bite. This tastes really good. It tastes uh, more like chow mein than Maggi, and I really like it. It is a very different concept to Maggi. And if you are willing to experiment and if you love Chinese sauces, make sure you try this recipe out. I am sweating. Uh, but yeah, I love this. This is this is a solid nine out of ten for me. Make sure you try this recipe out. And that was it for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it, liked it, and make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day ahead. I'm like, oh shit.